Got yourself a brand new Pixel 2 or a Pixel 2 XL? Well, keeping the basics aside, here are 7 important tips and tricks for you to keep in mind to make the most of your prized possession. Curious to know which song is playing nearby? Well, Now Playing is a Pixel 2 exclusive feature which lets the phone listen to songs nearby and instantly recognize them for you. To enable this, go to Settings, then select Sound, Advanced, scroll down a bit, tap on Now Playing and turn it on. Now this feature solves the problem of asking what song is this because basically your phone may just be having the answer to that. Active Edge is a nice little feature that lets you trigger the Google Assistant from any screen or even when your screen is off and it can also be used to silence incoming calls by squeezing the bottom half sides of your phone. To set this up, go to Settings, select System, then go to Languages, Input and Gestures, click on Advanced and under the Gestures menu, tap on Active Edge. From there, you can toggle on or off from the options available and also choose from a range of squeeze sensitivity between Light Squeeze and Firm Squeeze. The camera is arguably the most significant part of the Pixel 2 smartphone and there are some neat little tricks you should know. To start off with quick launching the camera, simply double press down the power button. Then once inside the camera app, shake your phone twice to switch back and forth between selfie mode and rear mode. You can even swipe between photo to video mode and vice versa by just swiping in either directions if you don't like tapping the display. And talking about tapping the display, you can also avoid that by simply using the volume keys to click a photo. Furthermore, you can even customize the volume keys for other functions from the camera settings. For this, swipe from the left of the camera screen and go to settings. Tap on gestures and select your preferred volume key action. Now go back to settings and tap on advanced and enable HDR plus control. By enabling this, a manual button is added to the camera app to toggle on or off the HDR functionality while clicking a photo. So while we are at it and talking about the camera, let's talk about two new features that came along the Pixel 2, portrait mode and motion photos. So despite not having a dual camera setup, the Pixel 2 has a portrait mode feature just like the iPhone X or the Galaxy Note 8. Simply quick launch the camera, tap on the hamburger icon on the top left and then select portrait to click photos with software blur around the subject. And the best part is that portrait mode is also available for the selfie shooter as well. Now talking about motion photos, you can access it by tapping the circular icon that is present at the top. You can choose to turn it on or off or even leave it on auto. So motion photos is similar to Apple's live photos and it lets you capture 3 seconds of video when you hit the shutter button bringing your photos to life. Google Lens is a new feature which lets you identify objects in your photos and is exclusive to the Pixel 2 smartphones. Currently, the only way to access it is through the Photos app. So how does it work? Well, simply launch the Google Photos app, select a picture and tap on the lens icon that is present along the bottom. A card will then pop up showing any relevant information for whatever is in the photo. Now this tip is only for the Pixel 2 XL as the smartphone has had complaints regarding its display being muted from the time it was released in the market. Well, Google has fixed that problem with a software update and now you can make those colors pop on your Pixel 2 XL's AMOLED screen. To do that, go to Settings, select Display, go to Colors and from the available option, select Saturated. With this activated, it might help you with Pixel 2 XL's dull display problem in the future. On the Pixel 2 smartphones, Google Maps can provide you with a floating navigation app. So what this means is that you can keep browsing your favorite social media account while following the navigation instructions from the map. All you have to do is set your destination on Google Maps and press the home button. The maps will then be reduced to a floating window that can be positioned anywhere on the screen. So that's all for this video. Did you find this useful? Do let us know your thoughts in the comments and for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com.